What's up Panda Parade, Karaku Zero here bringing you a new VR chat tutorial. If you missed the last video on finding models and textures for your world, you can check out that tutorial as well as this is a start to finish series that we're going to keep building upon as we go. This video is the fourth video in my start to finish series on VR chat world building and in this video I'll be showing you how to add pickups to, to your VR chat world. A little self plug here before we get started, I have made a VR chat world called the Panda Den that we'll be doing a role play in. If you're interested in getting in on that, join my discord for more information, the link is in the description below. I also stream on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Karaku Zero, the link is also in the description below. Drop me a follow over there, I stream on Saturday and Sundays and I like to chat with viewers and it's a fun time for everyone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so as you see in the scene here, these are the models we imported from our last tutorial. If you didn't see that, maybe go back and watch that. These are the models that we got from the Unity Asset Store. Um, so we have the couch here that I've also resized to fit into our world. Uh, I've also put the textures on the floor and on the ceiling as well. Uh, and here is one of the house plants that comes with the uh, asset pack that I showed you guys and uh, put in the description. Uh, so this is just the basic house plant. I've resized it to fit our world. So uh, it stands uh, about the same height as the couch. Um, so it's a pretty tall plant. Um, but what if we wanted to make this a pickup? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, using Udon. So the first thing you need to do is when you have your house plant selected or whatever you're trying to make a pickup object, you'll hit add component. And in here, you will search for a box collider. Now a box collider, what that does is it gives physics to your object. Um, so as you see here, the box collider only showed up down here at the bottom, uh, but we want that uh, to cover this whole thing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit collider and we're just going to make this uh, as big as the house plant uh, so it has physics all over it. Now, now let's make sure it's right this way. Uh, could use a little bit more out here. Alright, so there is our collider and it tells Unity that uh, this is where the physics needs to be on this object. So the next thing that we're going to add to this is going to be your VRC pickup script. So what you would have to do here is just search for pickup and there it is VRC pickup and you add that there and it already adds everything that you need. Um, to make this item a pickup. Now there's two things in the pickup script that you could possibly change and that is your uh, exact gun and your exact grip. And what this does is it basically tells VRChat where you are going to be holding this object. Uh, and to do that um, you would actually need a separate object. So a gun grip would be if you're holding it in your hand uh, like a weapon and an exact grip is just where you're holding this object. So let's just say uh, that we want our grip position to be here on the side of this pot. So what we would do um, first to actually add objects to this, you'll have to right click on it because it is a prefab and select unpack prefab. Then we're going to right click on it again and create empty. Now this adds an empty game object and this is where your grip is going to be. Um, so you just move this to the whatever position where you want your hand to be. And there it is. So if we go back to our house plant and we see this exact grip here, we're just going to take this game object and boom, put it right there in exact grip. And that's going to tell the game that that is where we're going to have our hand placements. The next thing that I want to show you guys is um, the gravity. So right here under rigid body, you see it says use gravity. Now we have that check. That means if we drop something, it's going to fall right back to the floor. Um, now if we uncheck that, it's just going to float away. But if you notice how some objects in the world where you let go of them and they stay where they are, 
Well, that is uh, is kinematic. So if it is kinematic, you will click that. And now whenever you drop an item, it'll stay what, exactly where it is when you dropped it. Uh, and if you do want the item to fall back to the ground, you'll just you click use gravity. The next thing that you are going to want to add after you have put your pickup script on is the object sync script. And that is VRC object sync. And what this does is when you pick up an object, it allows other players to see you pick up that object in game. Now, originally, uh, in previous tutorials, you might have seen this on the Udon behavior, but now with the new update, the VRC object sync script is its own script now, and the Udon behavior is a totally separate script. Now you can run the object sync and the Udon behavior. Uh, this came out in the brand new networking update, uh, and there it is. That's how you do pickups. Now let's go ahead and test this out over in our VR chat world. Um, now to test it out, this is the first time I believe that I've showed you testing. So I'm going to go ahead and click the save button. What you would do is you would go up to VR chat SDK and show control panel. And here is where you will sign into your VR chat account. One thing that I didn't show you guys is to actually run this in VR chat. It does need a scene descriptor. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to VR chat examples and go to prefabs and where it says uh, VRC world. We're just going to drag that in here and the blue arrow is where you will be facing when you spawn. So this is the exact spot here that we will spawn and be looking this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that again. Alright, so when you first uh, bring up the builder, uh, you will need to set up your layers. So you'll just click on set up layers for VR chat and click on do it. Then we're going to set our collision matrix, do it. And there we go. Um, so this, don't worry about this one here. Uh, we'll fix lights in a later video, but right now we're just testing out how this is going to work. So we're just going to click on build and test. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to launch VR chat and we'll be able to test it out in world. So I'll see you guys over in the world. All right, so here we are in our VR chat world. If we look over here, uh, it says hold to grab and we got it and there we have it we have the pickup and as you see we had the gravity turned on so when we drop it it falls to the ground and since we put the box collider all around it uh, it is behaving with its physics properly so if we turn it up and you see how it falls and there we go that is your pickups so thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. And if it helps you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Like I said, this is going to be a start to finish series. So also hit that bell notification so you get notified when the next video comes out. I'm Karaku Zero and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!